Gamers, what's going on? It's your boy, JJ Jack's Films. Today, we will be reacting to a rather infamous video. That's right, it's Jack to the Future. You've asked for it. I'm here to deliver. Uh, now, this is a video that's near and dear and close to my heart, but uh, it's something that I kind of want to meme on, and, and we can discuss, uh, you know, I, I want to give some some possible, I don't want to merely react to it, but I also want to talk about uh, some behind-the-scenes activities and all that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some uh, Jack to the Future reacting. And before we begin, uh, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that sub button, smash that bell. Thank you very much. It's Judge of Jack's Films, and uh, let's get started. Here's Jack to the Future. Hey guys, very oh, excited about today. You so, uh, thank you, Jules. Can you uh, so, awesome I miss this denim jacket very much. I couldn't keep the denim jacket. I do miss it. Um, what I don't miss though is the phone. I don't, I don't miss it because I have the phone right here. Oh my gosh, thank you for the sub. Now, this is all a set. I'm in a warehouse, believe it or not. You actually, you'll see the warehouse at the end of this video here. But uh, this was, uh, my goodness, this is me. Uh, it, it, years ago, this is uh, 2016 or 2017. Me, I always forget today's video. A huge thanks to Leno. Look at the size of that phone, by the way. Look at the massive, the massive size of this gigantic, you know, the uh, Phonosaurus Rex. Mm, I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? Hey, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> Let's continue. Hello for giving me their amazing brand new phone, the Fab. And it's a real mouthful. I'm, 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 it's a real mouthful. Thank you, Beth. Two Pro, the world's first phone with Rock Tango. <laughs> now, yes, I, I, we, it, uh, we do just like your your first question is probably what is Tango? It answers it here. Crazy AR technology from Google. Now, uh, unfortunately, this did not catch on so much um, as Google thought it would, and that's just the you know that's just the long and short of it. The, them's the cold hard facts, you know. Uh, but they did. I do applaud. Uh, I do prod. I do applaud Lenovo. <laughs> Trying oh, to come up. Oh God. <laughs> with something different. I do. Thanks for the bits. But let's let us continue because uh, this video is very polarizing. Uh, and you'll see why. Edit. Thanks for the follow, kind stranger. Which kind of feels like a piece from the Look at babyface me, you know what I'm saying? Before I sported, uh, you know, this is a facial hair, you know, love it or hate it, the facial hair is here to stay, you know, me thinks. Uh, but uh, it's a uh, just a, a baby face jack over here, my baby face mm, era, you know. I'm, I'm future, Thank you, Beth. Just drop right there in the present. And that's exactly why I decided to make a very special time travel episode. Now, why they decided on time travel, I don't exactly know. I'm not entirely sure why they were so hard set on like let's go, um, let's go to the past. I don't know why they were so, um, gosh diddly darn, um, focused on this approach um and maybe it's just because you can do a lot you can do a lot of things with the past you can have a lot of guest stars and that's the thing the this what the one thing this video lacks is certainly not um uh, a very talented cast there's an snl alum in here that you'll see some very very good actors um you know i don't blame them at all for anything they were uh, and their improv was uh, rather rather good um but let us continue let's see where this uh this cursed video goes <laughs> Of <laughs> Jack to the future. Let's be real. Jack to the future is a great pun. Love it or hate it, you have to love it. It's a great pun. It makes a lot of sense. It kind of rolls off the tongue. Jack to the future. Um, now, okay. We are no longer in a warehouse. We are actually in a gentle sir's house. I remember meeting the uh, the house owner. Uh, he was quite. I'll I'll say this. You know, he was quite ornery. The this, this house owner. I remember the last day of filming. He was like, uh, hey, get the hell out of my house. <laughs> only, only he didn't say hell, <laughs> gamers. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is real. He was, uh, he was ready for the shooting to be uh, finished, you know? And uh, hey, I can hardly blame him. We were taking up this gentle sir's house. He had a lovely pool. Um, it, was a, it was a very good, it was a, it was a family house. It was a very nice, it was a very nice home. Uh, but so here we are in a, a lovely oh, kitchen. Here. This is the kind of kitchen that um, I, I, I wouldn't mind having uh, for mm, my own, my own no, 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 self. No, no, no. Thanks for the bits, Josh. Question one. Do you believe in the possibility? So we had to, another thing, if you look at the comment here, it might be hard to see, uh, but uh, this comment, like everything's made up. Like the, the profile pictures are made up. I'm pretty sure the usernames don't exist. Uh, yeah, look at that, at some like it bot. Of course, that's, that has to be a bot. It's fine, I don't think I've ever noticed that before. But every, I think we had to, just to like for, for clearance's sake, we had to make up, they had to make up Humpty Dumpty, all of the, just hey, thank me. you, bunny. Um, can you we had to awesome make sure sauce? that um, we weren't using any copyrighted avatars, you know, like no Avengers, 
no Avengers in my uh, avatars. <laughs> uh, no animes in, in the avatar. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't do any um, IPs, third, par third party IPs, right? So everything was made up. Everything was fake. Yes. Of time travel. A lot of tea. I literally just said that this is the. We did so many takes, by the way, because mm -hmm. I, I think this was a one cam one cam shoot so it's not like we had multiple cams everything is one cam so like we had it's like what you just saw that was a close-up angle let's go back so we i had to say all my lines um uh, in a close-up angle and then they're like all right cut and they have you know move the sticks move the camera they had to move back and just look at the look at this beautiful kitchen by the way mama mia you know if it, if i were a, if i were more of a chef i would be uh, hard pressed to find a better kitchen you got the you got the you got the ceiling up here. Here, let me use my mouth. Yeah, you got the ce the the thing you can hang your, your your pots and pans. I think it's just really really a very nice uh very nice kitchen. Now, why I had this big pound of beef, I don't rightly know. It was someone's idea. They thought it'd be very funny if I just punch the if I punch it, and it's just very it's interesting. I'm not I'm not averse to slapstick by any means. No, not at all. But it was just. That this particular joke you're about to see, it's not something I would do on my channel, but you know they took they took a swing for it. It was a swing and a miss. You know, uh, batting our average was uh, I guess uh, you know five for ten. Uh, but let's just let's press on and continue. This is the time travel episode of Jackass. Please try to keep up. They really liked that. They really and that's not the sound beef makes, but they really liked that. And they I didn't fight them on it. I said, you know what? If you want, if you like it so much, let's roll with it. Why not? Maybe the viewers will like it. And they didn't, but that's okay because this is a learning experience. You know, it was fun to work on a set with catering. You know, they had snacks and everything. It was fun to work with like you know a lighting crew, a camera crew, a director, mm. and uh, actors. You know, yeah, it doesn't happen to me every day. Mm. And then the, I do like this. This cut is very reminiscent of 2001: A Space Odyssey, where the where the apes throw the bone, and, and the bone jump cuts to uh, to uh, uh, the space station in space thousands of years later. Uh, this cut is not dissimilar to that. Every frame of painting. And uh, if this if this slab of meat doesn't get your mouth watering, uh, check your pulse because you might be dead inside. <laughs> hey, if you're liking what you're seeing. Be sure to hit that sub button and click that bell so you never miss a single reaction here on Judge Jack's Films, uh, the greatest reaction channel uh, this side of YouTube. Question two. Uh, so now we're outside. We're still at the Gentle Sir's house. This is a real house. <laughs> real, it's a beautiful oh, establishment. Um, they did have a, a lovely grill here. Um, I'm, I'm not too far away from the pool that we shot um, a, a lot of footage here. And, 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 uh, and hey, peep the username, peep the... Uh, Thanks for picture. the follow. Kind hey, thanks for the follow. All this made up. You can see, like, I don't even know what this art <coughs> is. And, uh, <coughs> pretty <coughs> Zerb? That's <coughs> definitely not a person. No way. And, of course, even if you, upon a closer enhancement, right, that's not how tweets even look like. Like, the, the, my at is a different size. Ooh. Yeah, this was very, uh, very clearly made in Photoshop. But, you know. Because this was such a bigger budget production, it was a sponsored video, they couldn't take any risks, so they hey, copyrighted IPs in the, the follow, avatar. Hey, thank you very much, Gray. Uh, thank you. <laughs> if you could go back in time. I do like the chef's hat. I will say, it was very cute that they gave me a little a little chef's hat. You know, I wish I wish they gave me an apron that said, uh, um, uh, kiss the jack, you know what I'm saying? Something something fun like that, but that's okay. You know, if if, if there's one thing this series wasn't or this video wasn't lacking, it was budget. It had a good budget. What's one thing you changed about your childhood? Well, I would probably confront my middle school bully. And now, that's to be fair. Um, I, uh, excuse me, I had, ooh, excuse me, I had some bullies in high school, and sometimes I was the bully in middle school. So you know, go figure, right? But uh, I guess I was speaking a little bit from experience here. Um, I think I did get to write my own answer to this question. I can't remember if I wrote the questions too. I may have written the questions. It's all a blurry ooh, haze. I'm, 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 and tell you, them baby, I grew up ribs. to be a big YouTube star. Uh, I don't even know if I did write that answer. I did flip that Hupty though. Dupty. You just subbed. Hupty Dupty, thank you, Queen Amanda. Awesome sauce. Of course, then he'd be all like, "What's a YouTube?" You know what? That question sucks. Next question. I'm surprised they let me say sucks. I, I thought that was rather edgy for something like this. Uh, peep the whip pan. Beautiful whip pan <laughs> transition <laughs> from one scene to another. And here you can clearly see the pool. Um, with the with the stone hot tub, uh, gamers, let me know in the in the comments if you want a pool with a hot tub, uh, cause uh, <laughs> chalk me right up to that. With the real estate uh, market being what it is today, uh, you, you know, you you need more than a buck or two to get yourself a house with a pool. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, especially with this thing. In California, you can even forget about it. My goodness gracious. A million bucks gets you a handshake and maybe a bedroom uh, with half bath. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I will say these burgers Thanks for look the juicy kind and plumpy. <laughs> oh my god, Lenovo Fab 2 Profile. I'm a big fan. Thank you for the opportunity. Question three. And I do like the little uh, little uh, lotion on the nose. You know, that's, uh, you know, peep, peep the fit. Would you travel to the past? Now we have to, okay. This is another very clearly hand-drawn avatar. I think all of these must have been made in, like, MS Paint. Yeah, like, that's like a brush tool. Yeah, it's a lot. Okay, this is, like, very edgy, I would say. Because uh, Islam is clearly wearing a beer hat. I'm surprised that Lenovo was mm. like, we could definitely... We can we can show a llama drinking beer. I'm surprised no one at like you know no one no one at the top was like uh 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 we can't we can't encourage animal drinking. No one said that. And so to Lenovo's credit, I say uh, uh, kudos um, for for letting that uh, you know sneak by. Uh, but the username hooligan llama. Wrong pipe. Sorry, I thought I had more to say about the name. I don't. No commentary on the username. Or the future. Listen up, hooligan llama. I'm about to. Oh, I forgot I even said in the video. That's fun. Blow your mind. I'm surprised there was no like effect. There's no blow your mind effect that happened. You know, they certainly had the budget to make that happen, but that's okay. Look at this gorgeous shot, though. Like, look at the creamy. Oh, and especially with this with this lens, whatever lens they're using. Look how creamy that bokeh effect looks in the background, and even still, uh, with the wider shot, you still have that lovely. Um, uh, out of focus, uh, blurry background. Very magazine quality picture here. Every frame of painting. That's good meat. That's good meat. Okay, good. I, I was. I think I remember me saying that. Yeah. I forget. I wish I could tell you gamers how many takes, how many takes they had me take a bite of that burger. I wish I could tell. You, I just don't remember. I simply don't remember. Oh, here we go. Here's a scene. Here's a very infamous scene here. So I'm taking my Fab Two Pro with me. Look at, and again, really appreciate. How massive. Now, this is before phones were, like, all screen. Like, nowadays, you'd be hard-pressed to find a phone that isn't, like, you know, all screen. Top to bottom. Excuse me. Uh, but here, um, it, it was a more forgiving year um, for bezels in 2016, 2017. All, every phone had bezels like this. If you're not familiar with that term, bezels are kind of like the chin and the forehead of a, of a, of a smartphone. <clears throat> But look at this is a meaty boy. This is a very it was a thick phone. It was a big phone. It was a slab. Oh, with me to travel through space and time. I wish I had those pants too. Like ever like oh, I don't think I owned a single item of clothing. They really dressed me up head to toe in whatever was fashionable at the time. I don't even think the t-shirts mine. I think they were just like, we don't like your wardrobe, Mr. Films. We're gonna we're gonna give you some more appropriate attire. Um, I don't even know why. I don't know, like those aren't my pants, certainly aren't my shoes. I don't have a single pair like those shoes. I don't have anything in denim, uh, you know, besides my jeans, of course. Uh, but I certainly don't have a denim jacket. Yeah, really makes you think. And my own personalized home build. Oh, there you go. There's the there's the thumbnail, right? This is basically the thumbnail uh, for for the video. The design for the time machine is super cute. It's hyper cute, I would say. You have the big old QWERTY keyboard. Some kind of mother, mother computer motherboard soldiered on, on, onto it. And you got the arms. Build time machine. Perfect. Now, okay, this is interesting. How do they get this shot? Oh, I think I was there for this. You just subbed to me. Oh my God, Jax, thank you very much for the sub. But hold on now. Okay, so clearly they dropped this from some. Yeah, you can tell they dropped it like from here, because like it floats a little bit before it comes down. So they. I wonder if it was like, oh, mate, you know what? Maybe they cut out some stuff in the background, like clone stamp something. Because I don't know. I feel like, look at the leaves up here. They don't move at all. So I feel like maybe there's someone there. And now they move. a lot of tea. You know what? I don't know how they did it. It's magic. Movie magic. Anyways, they dropped it from some height. Purple, red. This is me ad libbing, by the way. This is my expert ad libbing. I am, I am a terrible, I'm a piss poor uh, ad libber. I'm not good at improv. They just had some shots. They were like, "How about you goof around the time machine, do your classic Jack's films witty humor," and I told them, "Ooh, about to have a rude Thanks awakening." Follow, I don't have that. Oh, thank you, Judith. Purple, red. Oh, okay. oh, we got a green one. That's good. I Very clearly ad libbing here. No idea what I'm doing. You know, I. I 
everybody wishes they were, you know, in a Christopher Guest film, right? Ad libbing with Eugene Levy and the others. I think that's good. Christopher Let me Guest. Measure it with my phone real quick. Ah, oh, there you go. This took a million takes. Um, can you say awesome sauce? Thank you very much for the sub. Now this this took me a this took a bunch of takes. The way that I had to Thanks align the, the phone. Thank you, Dapper. The way I had to align the phone and make all this happen. This required many takes, right? It's a very because it required like real pinpoint and even here you can kind of tell that the the AR technology just isn't quite fully baked there, right? It's like look at this line. It's like whoop, right? Not quite. Not quite, uh, not quite what I'm pointing at, but hey, God bless him, you know. It, when you're designing new new tech, you know, whether it's AR or AI, you know, hey, how different are, the, you know, the, the, the letters are the same, but the, the sentiment stays the same, or the letters are different, but the sentiment stays the same. Uh, you, you have to be brave. It's a brave new world, yeah, and you have to try new things. So I do applaud the Novo, Tango, and Google on trying something. And ultimately, you know, maybe the Tango technology didn't quite pan out, but it was a neat idea. Oh. Wait a minute. Gamers. Ouchie. Is this composited in post? Wait a minute. I'm 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 looking at the outline of this. Thanks for the screen. follow, kind stranger. Yes, thank you for the fo follow, kind stranger. I'm wondering if this is composited in post. Uh, oh, maybe. It's very possible. I don't know. That might, maybe not. But I feel like, is it possible that this was done in post? It's, I can't, I can neither <coughs> confirm nor deny it with 100% certainty. Edit. Thanks for the follow. <coughs> Thank you for the follow. It's very hard to tell. Just to make sure everything lines up. Looks good. Oh, Ben! Oh, me getting into it? Oh, this is very hard. I think I had to be helped into it because you don't even see me really get into it. I don't know why they had to throw the chair so angrily. Let's go. I, I promise I'm not a Thanks rage of holic. Thank you, Reese, for the sub or for the follow, I should say. But it took it took a few Ooh. tries. It took I, well, not a few uh, tries, think. but I was rather clumsy getting into this uh, this little uh, contraption here. But um, look at the fog. I, I can't remember how they made this fog appear. Some kind of fog Ooh. machine just blasting in a concentrated area. I don't know. If you know anything about fog machines, they tend to never work when the way you want them to. <laughs> you know? Hey, if you know, you know. And if you don't, you don't. And by the way, gamers, um, if you know, go ahead and sub. Hit that sub button and click that bell. All right? For more fun reactions. Uh, you know. Now, how they, had, how they waved the arms, I'm... Not entirely sure. I don't think, because I don't think my arms could fit through there, right? Maybe is there a string? It's hard. Well, I don't see a string. I'm, I wonder how they did that. Thanks for following. Thank you, Thor. Okay, now here's here's the thing. This was a practical set, but of course, very obvious the the green screen um, behind me, right? This was just like this was just a green thing. Something I wish they did. You know how you notice how the background's kind of blurry, like this. This little, you know, whatever this is, that's kind of blurry. That's kind of blurry. So, me thinking, why is this? This should be blurry. Like the background, sh like this, this, this green Just screen effect should be more blurry to to blend in with the background more. And I thought that's a bit of an oversight, but but that's okay. Uh, you know, there is a bit of a Doctor Who effect happening here, where it's uh, larger on the inside than the outside. You know, <laughs> but maybe that was intentional. Just so you know, time travel is not instant. So while we're waiting, how about I just answer some of your questions? How do I tell my parents that? Okay, here's another um, gleefully uh, original, gleefully original um, avatar here or uh, post. So like eyeliner love uh, 98. That's very clearly just another drawing. Um, how do I tell my parents that I'm goth? Let's see how I answer this one. I'm goth. What you can do is travel to the future where uh, you outgrow your goth phase. Boom, problem solved. How many stars? I'm proud of that one. That was actually one of my better moments, I must say. That was a Jack Film original. That was all me. And I will say, maybe that was the funniest part of the video. Well, that's not true. Because I'm surrounded by very talented actors. And you'll see, they can just act circles around your boy. It's, it's rather embarrassing how good these actors are in this video. And I do mean that from the bottom of my black heart. I do. Mm. Uh, spacey bacon. Hey, remember uh, that phase where 
Everyone thought bacon was epic. Guess what? It still is, gamers. You know. Uh, let me know if you think bacon is still epic, because uh, I sure do. Stars are in our galaxy. Good question. To find out, we're gonna go all the way back to 1590 to ask the man himself, Galileo. How many stars are in the galaxy, though? I I think there's, I think there's, I think there's like 200 billion. I want to say 200 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Let me just check real quick, cause now I'm now see now your boy's curious. Let's let me just ask um, let me ask my boy Google, how many stars are in the Milky Way galaxy? Damn it, hundred billion, one hundred billion. I said two hundred billion, so I was exactly uh, I was exactly a hundred percent wrong. <laughs> uh, but that's okay, that's okay. Um, I I'll bet I was closer than maybe some some haters out there. Oh, thank you very much, Andon. Okay, so this, I'm trying to re remember if the Edit. shaky Thanks cam was follow, practical or not. Stranger. You know, it was probably done in uh, probably done in post. Okay, so here's another, now we're back in the warehouse. We were, we, um, or sound, I keep saying warehouse, I should Edit. say sound Thanks stage. Thanks for the follow, kind stranger. This, the beginning of this video, and some parts like this, this was done on a sound stage, right? And so these two, uh, and especially the, the fellow who plays Galileo, uh, my hat, my theoretical uh, hat, <laughs> I'm tipping very, very hard. My fedora goes out to this gentle sir, because um, he could, he was just a wonderful actor. Uh, you know, he played off of whatever I gave him, but honestly, you know, you could tell that like I'm the dumb YouTuber, but this guy was the actual actor. He was a lot of fun to uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, work with. <clears throat> And funny enough, he looks like one of he looks very similar to one of my old college roommates, and it kind of like threw me for a loop the entire time we were shooting. I remember that very clearly. I was like, "You look just like I don't even actually I don't think I ever told him. Maybe I kept that inside my head." If only we could thanks see the, the heavens. Oh, oh, thank you, sweet Jim. This took a million takes too. We did so many takes of every single line reading. It was a real legit film shoot. Let Edit. me tell you, gamers, follow, it was the real deal. Stranger. All right. Instead of relying on our mind's eye. Whoa, shut up for a sec. I, I was, I think, I think I came up with, whoa, shut up for a sec. I think I was rather proud of that. And that took, that took me many a, many a take and many a time to, to, Vanga Boy is real. Is the Vanga bus coming? Thanks for the follow, kind, gentle gamer. Uh, I think I can help you guys out. <laughs> no, it's actually called augmented reality. And I feel I feel bad for the gentle sir on the on the right here. I think that's his one line. I think you know, just calling me the devil, which is admittedly not a bad line at all. Um, but I wish they gave him more to do. I do like how terrified and uh, disgusted uh, this actor is by me, or his character, I should say, the character of Galileo is by me and this weird futuristic device. <laughs> it lets me see a fully scaled. Mo all right, now let's let's marvel at this 3D. Uh, sun here. So this is what Google was talking about with or Tango with their AR technology, right? The 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 power and ability to uh, to to see 3D objects um, using your phone's camera. And speaking of AR technology, gamers, have you heard about this? Have you seen this? Have you read this anywhere? That Apple, their Apple's next big thing. It's not a phone. Mm -mm, it's not even the Apple Car. No, no, no. Apple's working on uh, an AR headset not to be confused with vr ar imagine um if you would uh, like glasses or something that lets you see you know you can see your hands in front of you, you can see people hello, hello. but but the ar allows you to see um uh well this it allows you to see 3d objects maybe ui overlays uh numbers I, you see what i would like to do is i would like to put on glasses and have subtitles pop up whenever people talk at me you know what i'm saying gamers because sometimes you know i don't hear so good it would be nice to have like irl subtitles or captions you know when you watch netflix and people are like way too british and you're like i don't even know what the heck you're saying man you, and you put on the the dang subtitles you know hey ask my wife you know she's she's terrible at understanding um you know very British people on a, on the TV. We put those captions on right away, right? Well, what if you had glasses that let you do that? That's possibly what Apple's working on. So, uh, you know, uh, chew on that. Model of the solar system, the sun, the Big Dipper. And I think this, oh no, oh no. I just noticed something gamers. I just noticed something. And you know, props to the team. Like this isn't easy to do. Now I, now I'm certain that the phone close-ups were done in post. I think I can legally say this. Uh, take a look at the pinky. Take a look at the pinky right here. Look at the fingy, right? 
You'll notice the screen kind of, you know, chops the pinky off. Uh, phone screens don't do that so much. Ah, uh, that's how you know this was... At least some close-ups may have been done in post. And that's okay. That's okay, you know. Mm. I'm sure there's a disclaimer somewhere saying, like, you know, images were, were rendered, you know. Something mm. like that. One of those disclaimers, the very small, very mm. small print. Mm. I don't recall. Uh... But um, and it must be hard. It must it must be hard. It would be hard to mask out the the thingy for every frame, right? Like oh, paint it out here. Oh, paint it out here. Oh, paint it out here. Oh, you know what I'm saying, gamers? Like that would be like some poor, some poor editor would have to rotoscope that or mask out the 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 thingy every single frame. And uh, even at 24 frames a second, you know, I I export all my videos at 60 frames a second. I can't imagine that headache. But even at 24 frames a second. Uh, you know, 24 or 30, whatever this video is at, that would be just a nightmare wrapped in mm. top mm. inside another nightmare. So, Big Dipper. <coughs> but that is kind of funny that uh, I I never I never noticed that until now. A little Skipper, a Unicorn, Unicran. I think I was channeling Tim and Eric when I was trying to do this when I was making up making up constellations and stars that don't exist. Uh, Tim and Eric, they have a they had a lovely. Lovely segment uh, from their most famous show, Tim and Eric Awesome Show, great job, uh, where it's all about space. And they play two astronomers, um, you know, edutaining us about um, all the cool stars and uh, constellations in the, in, the, in the night sky. Uh, but everything's Ooh. wrong. It's really funny. There's a close up of Tim going, well, you got the Big Dipster, Little Dipster, Tittleman's Crest, things that don't exist. It's very funny. And I think I may have been channeling some of that a little bit when I was making up. Uh, you know, mm. Omicron. I was trying not to say Tillman's Crest because that's that's Tim Heidecker's. You know, that's not mine. Um, oh, there you go. People in the in the in the Twitch chat are saying, "Yeah, universe <sighs> equals uh, yeah, a tube two x." Yep, yep, yep. You've seen the thing. Yep. Some other ones. Oh, real quick. Do you guys know how many stars? The the Diablo actor. You know, he's doing a lot with very little. Like he had one line, right? But he's making the most. He's making the most of his one line. Pardon me for a sec as I go backwards. Just being absolutely terrified by this this, this mm. disgusting pasty boy who came from the future wearing the denim jacket and with a phone that's uh, way too big to be a phone, let's be real. How many stars are in our galaxy? <laughs> you know what? I'll just look it up. Thanks anyway. It's 100 billion. I know for, we know, we now know, uh, thanks to Sir, thanks to Sir Google or Madam Google or Gamer Google, however they identify her. Uh, it's a hundred billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy, uh, give or take a, a few billion. You know, <laughs> who can who Edit. can really thanks be sure? For the follow, kind stranger. Thank you for the follow. All right, now back to Jack to the Future. Bye. It's a bit of a jerk, Edit. wasn't he? Thanks for the follow. Galileo kind would stranger. never say that, which is why. Oh, Lenovo editors. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Very epic. Um, I do like that that little like it was a bit of a, he was I was I was very jerkish, um, but it's funny Thanks to have Galileo kind uh, you know address that. So uh, this this video uh, this video has many faults. Mm. It has some gems though, and I would say that was one of them. Mm. What is your favorite video game? Okay, Frizz Business absolutely Hup doesn't exist. You just Hup the Dumpty, thank you, Chalupa <laughs> Games. You say awesome sauce. So this avatar absolutely doesn't exist, right? Like this was very, this was done in paint, but that's okay. They, there's a very similar, like there's a very unique style all these avatars have in this video. It's interesting, like an artistic uh, similarity, a theme, a motif, if you will. I'm not really a fan of the new ones. I don't really have the fingers for them. So let's go all the way back to 1972. Now, if you were to ask me, like, obviously, like, I couldn't mention a real video game. Like, this is all, like, that question, what's your favorite video game, was merely meant to segue into the next segment here in, 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 in Jack to the Future. Uh, but if you were to ask me that now, I don't know. I do love me some Elden Ring. I keep playing Elden Ring. I keep coming back to it. Also, uh, uh, me thinking I love Mario Maker 2, also great game. Great game for the Switch, uh, you know, very just different systems, uh, the PC and the Switch. PC where I, be, where I do replay uh, Elden Ring, and the Switch where I do replay Mario Maker 2. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your, uh, what's your favorite video game. And hey, while you're commenting, why don't you hit that sub button and ring a ding 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 that notification bell, okay? And be, uh, you know, so that you are, uh, um, so that you become addicted to my reactions. <laughs> I jest, of course, but you know, watch responsibly. Let's keep going. To play the first video game. All right, 1972. Um, I may be old, but not even I was born 1972. You know, so we're going way back in time here. Uh, so here we are in the in the garage. I 
don't entirely remember where the garage this is more shit. Where we filmed the garage for the follow, scene. Kind of Thank you, Lenovo. Oh, well, lawyers! <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I don't quite remember um, where we filmed the garage scene. If it, if it was still in the same house or, or not. I don't remember. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. So, this gentle sir. His name escapes me. But he was the funniest person I worked with on this video. He... Believe it or not, he is a Saturday Night Live alum, um, and it it showed Edit. he every Thanks single he ad libbed. And this is real. Thank you for the follow. This is real though. <coughs> he ad libbed many, many. I think most of his lines. He had so many ad libs every time we this. filmed. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, thank Maybe. you, Lenovo editors, for the bits. Um, <sighs> but um, he was an absolute gem. He was the funniest person, um, bar none. Edit. He just ran Thanks circles around my funny kind bone. Um, and I wish they included some of his funnier lines. I think they included his more mild um, his mild takes. And when I say takes, I mean the modern way. I don't mean like, ooh, what a hot take. I mean like the film take. You know, when you take, when you record, like that's, that's a take, you know. <laughs> uh, but um, he was incredible. Uh, so pay attention to him. And he was a Saturday Night Live alum. Hey, guys. What are we working on? Oh, she was good, too. I like this actress. I don't, I don't, I, I look how, look how. Kind of like nerdy derpy, like mm. hey, you know, like it's very funny. Like she, she plays her role yes. very well, uh, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I do like that. I love the, I love the creepy mustache, the calculator watch. I, I feel like this is a bit anachronistic. I don't think they had calculator watches like that in the seventies. Kind strange. Now your boy had calculator watches. I, uh, me thinks I was a little obsessed with calculator watches in my uh, adolescence, my youth and adolescence. I loved me some cal uh, calculator watches. I had some really nifty calculator watches i had one with a voice recorder um one that could store phone well all these calculator watches could store phone numbers you know back when that was a thing right that used to be a selling point casio used to be like our calculator watch could store 40 phone numbers 40 contacts and that used to blow people's minds can you imagine that was literally a selling point of watches back in the day i'm not making this up but let's go back to the the, the matter the matter at hand here well i don't mean to brag but We've created something revolutionary. See, he's so proud. I love like his uh, this person's acting ability is unironically wonderful. He's so proud. He's like he's like he's almost like in secret. It's like well, actually, I love that. He conveys that very very well. Um, I will say like and again, this video, sure, it's it's filled to the it's up to the neck with faults and everything, but the acting all around uh, was not is not among them. In fact, I think the the weakest acting in this video comes from yours truly. Yeah, so if you're gonna blame anyone, you can blame me, that's fine, I can take it. You see, this rectangular paddle hits this round circular ball, and then that ball travels. I love, I love enthusiasm, right? It's, he's, he's explaining this like earth shattering concept, right? Which I'm sure in the early 70s, it absolutely was earth shattering. People used to be like, what do you mean you play games on a TV? TVs are for watching, not for playing, right? So I can imagine like, that the, the reactions weren't too dissimilar to, to the very exaggerated ones we're seeing here. You know what I'm saying, game? Across this empty black space where... Oh. Was, me thinks that was an Easter egg that I missed. Well, oh, look at that. Oh, that's funny. I This video is how many years old? And never have I ever noticed that it goes from cool dude to, well, that sucked. And you know what? I appreciate that. That's a fun blinking and miss it kind of gag. I'm literally freezing and analyzing frames. And it only took me... You know, that many years, six or seven years, to notice that. That's pretty impressive. Say what you will about this ad. That's pretty cool. Space where it meets up with another paddle. <laughs> huh? That's. I love that. I love that. Huh? Huh? Like, tell me. Tell me how impressed you are, right? I love that. Like, honestly, I SNL should bring this person back. He was wonderful. Really tight, guys. Uh, and you'll be happy to hear that you helped hey, pave the way for, for the AR games. games. Check this out. What is it? See, I'm clearly, I have to say, in this in this mm. trio, I am the weakest actor by far. These are two Edit. legit Thanks actors. For the follow. Just blow me out the water, you know? It's the future. So you're trying to hit mm. this target. Oh, here's, oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. I do think I did. Thanks for the follow, kind stranger. Oh, you know what? I will say, thank you for the follow, kind stranger. I will say. Um, I don't think Actually. I, uh, yeah, I did not play this. I did not play this game. In fact, cause don't you, cause hey, wouldn't you, shouldn't you be able to see the person? Don't you think I, edit? 
Thanks for the follow. Don't you think? Kind if you're playing this game, if you're using the camera, wouldn't you see the guy here? Don't you think? Oh, you. Oh, oh. But look, he's off to the side. Trying to hit this target. Yeah. Thanks for okay. The follow, kind well. Stranger. Oh yeah. No. That yeah, this is all. It's not quite. It's not quite more accurate. Where are the cords? Oh wait a minute. Oh. <coughs> Never mind. Maybe this is real. Oh, egg on my face, gamers. Uh, my apology. Please accept my humble apology. I guess this is real. Cause how how could they have done that? Hmm. Very interesting. Yes. Yeah. Now wait a minute. But there's some. Okay. But but look here. Look here, gamers. Look at the, look at this. There's some elements of the screen that are kind of like spilling out into the bezel. I remember the bezel is like the chin of the phone. Not the screen. So why is that happening? I don't know. I don't know. But they integrated the camera. Well, maybe they just had me. You know what, gamers? Maybe they just had me turn Thanks on the camera. The follow, kind and then they threw on the the other graphics and pose. That's my. That's my. That's my. Uh, that's my. Uh, that's my theory. No cords. My Ooh. game theory. Thank you. Gamers. Here, look. Oh. Hey, we should get one of these. Oh, this this really ticks me off, gamers. And it takes a lot to tick me off, but this really ticks me off. And apart from my French, but I'm rather ticked off. He had so many lines here. Oh, the pod couple just subbed. Hey, honey, we should get one of those. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Well done. He had so many lines here. I, and I think he had a lot of retorts and insults to my character, right? For, like, undermining his life's work here. And... Naturally, the video used none of them. Instead, just said it did a very generic game over game over effect, like me, do, 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 right? Which is fine. It's not laugh out loud funny, you know. But it's fine. It's a safe. It's a safe route when it when it comes to humor. Honey, we should get one of these. And you see, and sure, you can see, you see the, the you see the depression, you see the anger, the hatred, the seething envy. You see all of these, you know, every frame, every face of painting, but. He had so many lines that we will never hear. So they're on a cutting room floor somewhere, or rather on a cutting room hard drive, me thinks. Uh, but it really, it really, it really uh, sickens, angers, disgusts, and depresses me that we will never um, hear um, this gentle sir's very funny lines. Um, so so I, I'm sorry for, for that loss, gamers. We'll never know. Mm. What do you think it'll be like in the year 2150? Uh now this is gonna be, this is the most, mm. Buckle up. This is the most painful part of the video. Um, remember when I kept saying that, like, I'm I'm in scenes with better actors than myself? Well, now we're about to come to a scene where um, that is not the case. And, in fact, the acting is about to get twice as worse because it's just me and a clone. Yeah. And it's just – it's no bueno. Oh, finally. A good question. Let's go to the future where people can finally wrap their minds around – And, by the way, I'm terrible at line memorization. I think every single time I had to say this or – any line i had to do like 10 takes just to get the dang line right right not even like don't even talk about delivery it was just really just try to like say the line you know say the line say the words on the script and uh, i couldn't even do that so on this crazy technology it's time to go not a good actor is what i'm saying jack to the future so now we're gonna go get it uh jack to the future the record scratch i i don't think the scene needed a record scratch but that's okay because it's not up to me. It was up to a different team. I just I wouldn't put a record scratch except if it were done ironically. And here the record scratch was done unironically. But now we're just nitpicking, right? Now I'm just being rude. Because at the end of the day, this was a fun experience. I don't regret a single frame of it. I was happy to work uh, on set with the team, a very capable team. It's just you know sometimes the the project is less than the sum of its parts, and and that's that's what we have here today. But it was a fun experience. I will never. It's an experience I'll take to the, I'll take to my grave. Uh, it's, a, it's a it's a pun on a famous movie. Uh, we're it's funny. It looks like I'm wearing blush here, and it's not. I think because these are lights. Believe it or not, these lights are not green screen. These they had actual lights. Because this is not a bad looking background, but like. Look at my eye up here. It looks like I'm wearing some kind of like, 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 I keep saying blush. I don't know. It looks like I'm wearing some kind of like makeup there. Oh, but you can see it on my neck too. So it's very clearly the light. Anyways. Uh, where Simba loses his dad. Um, wait. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. So here we are at the hella, the hella distant future. Uh, gamers, pardon me. I just need to take a swig of my gamer juice real quick. Hold on. Things are things are about to take a, a trip into the cringe here. Now this was another scene where they had me say all sorts of lines. 
just all sorts of lines, all sorts of variations, uh, right? And they had to Franken edit, you know, the best combos of, you know, clone A versus clone B. Let's see what happens, because I don't even remember what I say. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> you must be my great... Okay, so they had to, so my hair, they had to spray, they had to like spray paint my hair this lovely metallic silver white um, color. And I will say, it's a fine. I, I look reminiscent of like a, a, a mythical Jack Frost, pardon the pun, but a Jack Frost type character. You know, like all in all in white with like a silver puff jacket and the silver white hair. Dupty, you just mm. Dupty. Thank you, Joey. Hubby uh, Dupty indeed. Awesome I do look awesome. like some kind of mythical, you know, Jack Frost character. Like I control the elements or possibly the, the, the winter season. Great grandson. Get out of my home. Let's grab a picture of the handsome boy, huh? No. Just gotta add a drag. I do like, I do like, the, I will say I'm proud, I'm proud of, um, oh, Bunny, thank you for the sub. Can you say awesome? I don't hate my line saying, let's take a picture of the handsome boy, but gamers, I don't think I even wrote that. I think someone else, maybe someone on set was like, ooh, t have a take. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of like, ooh, do a take where you say this, or do a take where you Thanks say that, follow, right? Kind thank stranger. you, John Lee Bunny. I do, I, I, I'm ashamed to admit, I think someone who's very funny on set said, say, Let's get a picture of the handsome boy. And I was like, that's really funny. Let's do it. I'm glad that made the cut because that is a funny line. I can't take any credit for that. Add a dragon and boom. Okay, now I don't know. Okay. Now that, oh yeah. So the dragon thing absolutely did not exist. Um, I remember they definitely added the dragon in post. Um, but it gives you, it's fine because it's, in the end of the day, it's an advertisement. It gives you an idea of what a phone like this could do, right? So I'm sure you could absolutely apply a dragon like um, um, filter. These are very crude filters. We're in the days of like what early Snapchat, right? TikTok was just a uh, you know just a twinkle in um, uh, Musically's Huffy eye. Duffy. You just stuff. Thank to you, me. Sleepy sure. Pigeon. Huff the Duffy and Deep. Awesome sauce. It's pretty cool, right? A little dragon popping up and everything. Your body language. I don't know why I broke the fourth wall. I don't know why they like had me look at the camera. That's a very interesting creative choice. We we rock and roll with this. She says yes. No. Not a little? No. -uh. Not even a little? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. So like, I think they had a, all sorts of scenarios where me on the chair, I said all sorts of, I said all sorts of things. Uh, can you say awesome sauce? <laughs> wow. I can't believe. <laughs> wow. That's very cool that this person sucks to us. Um, but uh, uh, I forgot my train of thought. Let's keep watching. No, I'm busy too. I got to get back to my... Oh, that's right. I, they had me say uh, a, a real myriad of lines as both me here and then me as the Jack Frost future character. Just all sorts of lines. And so they, and you know, in, in editing, you know how they always say, we'll fix it in post, we'll fix it. They must have fixed it in post to like have pairs of conversations mm. that worked and you know, that weren't totally clashing time machine it was really cool catching up <laughs> call me or you know uh. now this is interesting is it just me or does the focus very slightly go out of detail here or am i just imagining it look at the face all right so keep keep an eye on the eyes huh? but look at the eyes as i advance frame by fr wrong pipe I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things, but I felt like the, it got a little blurry. Anyways, maybe not. Call me. Or, you know, ah, oh, it doesn't work like that. Uh, call me anyway, man. <sighs> so it's just one of those like the that scene doesn't work, and um, I'll take I'll take half the blame at the very least. It's just one of those you can't ad lib with yourself. You really, really can't. You can write dialogue in advance, but you simply cannot ad lib. Um, when it's you and another person. It doesn't work. I think we should have, we as a team, me and the writers. Thanks for the follow. Thank you, Jax from 2017. Uh, we, should have, we should have really carefully scripted out a back and forth dialogue and not just have one version of me say, you know, options for lines, because that's what they were. They were options. And then have other me say more options for lines, right? Because at the end of the day, um, me from the future, I just say a lot of, um, uh, no, I just say no a lot, and that's and that's the joke, right? Kind of weak, in a comedic standpoint. Uh, so I, like I said, I shoulder some blame. All in all, that was a pretty good trip. <coughs> oh, look at that! And you can see, see, see I told you. So I kept saying warehouse, but I corrected that uh, to soundstage. But see, see this big wall there? Like it looks like we're shooting in a lovely home somewhere, but like no, we were just on a, on a soundstage in a lot somewhere. Couldn't no tell problem. you. Gun to my head. Gun to my head. Couldn't tell you where said soundstage Huffy, was. Duffy. You, you know? just subbed. <laughs> <Durm, laughs> he's right behind me. Awesome <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the sub. Novo, thanks for the free phone. Not giving it back. <laughs> oh, and that is one thing. They did Edit. it. 
Thanks for the follow, kind they stranger. They did. Um, they did let. They did give me a phone. They gave me like an not a prototype. So like in this video, I'm holding a prototype, right? I'm holding kind of like a dummy phone that doesn't quite work. Not a hundred percent, but. Oh, where is it? I'm rummaging through a, uh, my phone cabinet where I have all my phones. Where's the Lenovo phone? Oh, tell me it's here. Tell me my Lenovo phone is here. Yes, it is. Gamers, here it is. This is the this is the this is the phone that this is the Lenovo phone they gifted me. Um, you know, once the video was up, um, as a as a thank you, and I thought that was actually quite class. It's very cool of them. So look at this look at this darn thing. The battery's dead. Otherwise, I turn on the screen for you. Uh, look at the back of it, right? So this is I. Th I can't tell if there are two cameras on this or not because like this was like maybe there are only two. This was right at the advent where smartphones started to get two cameras on the back. That was a real breakthrough. They were like, what? Phones have two cameras on the back now? That's crazy. And of course, now it's just like, yeah, oh, get in line. You know, actually, three is the new minimum, huh? But, th you know, it was, a, it was a different time. It was 2017. It was a different time. Um, the iPhone, I think, just had two cameras, like, just came out with two cameras. It was crazy. So this bad boy had, must have had, well, had at least one in the back, probably two. Look at this big fat one there. Just a big old fat camera. This is a fingerprint reader. I never used this. I never learned my fingerprint. Uh, I don't trust the government. They'll never have my fingers. But this is a fingerprint reader there. And if I, I think you can get a better um, glimpse at the bezels, right? You can see the, you can see like where the screen ends there. Just a lot of bezel there and bezel up there. And be be bezels were more acceptable in 2017. Nowadays, if a phone has bezels, like oh, get, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a bad phone. You don't want a phone with, phone with bezels now. Like, and by comparison, here we are today, right? Here we are today. No bezel. Look at that. Just all screen. Edit. Thanks for Beautiful the screen. Kind stranger. And that's like, thank you very much, internet baby. Anyways, I digress. I could talk all day. I could talk your ears off about telephones. But let's Want continue. A very fake trip. A very, very fake trip. That is the fakest of trips. And I had to like, they had, you know, they made me, not made me, but like, but they, they had me trip, you know, for comedic effect, right? It was just one of those, like, I'm okay, I'm okay. Like, you know, that's just that dumb joke. But this was, I can't even mime a, a, a good trip. And I apologize, like, I feel bad for the editors because they were like, they probably have 20 takes of me Thanks faking that follow. trip. Kind and they all stranger. look like shit, all my takes. So they're like, screw it. Let's just use one of them. But this guy can't act and he can't even pantomime. They probably edit, you know what? They probably added that sound in post, right? And I'm glad they did because it's it sells the effect better. Mm. But like I don't blame them for adding that in post. They needed oh, that. Man. Oh, actually, oh, no, maybe not. I do actually. Okay, never mind. That was all me. That was a Jack Film original. I guess I do really step on that thing. You can see it. Not paying for that. Not paying for that. Not my problem. Mm. All in all, it's a perfect video. Uh, all in all, well, no, it's. I digress. It's not a perfect video. Um, I uh, I don't have any regrets though. I'm glad I did it. Right? It's there. Oh, there's that lovely thumb. Look at that pose. Look at look at that. Look at this. Look at this this crazy this crazy guy. Um, I will say I'm glad I did it. Um, but um, I love these shoes too. I'm just a big. Oh, you can't really see the shoes because because my dang body's in the way. But those are those are nice kicks. <laughs> Um, but anywho, that's the story of the, uh, of, uh, Jack to the Future with the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro, the world's first phone with Tango. I, sorry, I just had a brain fart. I, I couldn't remember if it was like first phone or only phone. I think it was first, right? Yeah. Anyways, um, <coughs> so that's, <laughs> that's it. That's, that's Jack to the Future. Oh. And uh, let me know what I should react to next. Just hit me up in the comments. Let me know what I should react to next. And thanks for thanks for watching, gamers. You're epic.